Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Double X and today, you know those BuzzFeed quizzes that you take when you're like super bored? You see one and you're like, I got two minutes to spare. Let me spare my pity on these lonesome content creators. Kind of like what everyone does to my channel. <laughs> so you know, you click on one and it's something like this. Can you guess the famous bulge? So you know, you scroll through and oh, who's John is this? I don't know, maybe it's Jamie Foxx's. Guess I was wrong, it's Zach Sack. So then you scroll down some more. Who's setting up camp to pitch a tent? I don't know, maybe it's Will Smith. Oh, I was wrong again, it's Pitbull. You guys get the gist of it. So today I stumbled upon a quiz on BuzzFeed that should be an absolutely amazing time. The best part is you kiddos at home can also play along with this quiz. So here we go today, ladies and gentlemen. What is your sex IQ? Question number one, how big is the average erect penis? Well, speaking off of personal experience, I gotta say, <laughs> no, that came, that, came, that came out way wrong. Hold on, hold, hold your horses here. The answer, the answer is A. Let's just, great, we got it right. Let's let's move on now. Question number two: Which form of contraception is the most effective? Well, I've heard of three of these: the male condom, female condom, and the contraceptive pill. But I, the, the diaphragm? Is that is that? I'm, am I thinking of the organ? That's the thing in your stomach, right? I'm either missing something. I'm like way behind the times, or this is a definitely a control thing that maybe it's like somebody would think, oh, it's just got to be this. It's so stupid that it's got to be true. But I'm not falling for a buzzfeed. Some of your quizzes are really stupid. So this just might be them thinking this is an actual legitimate answer. I'm gonna go with contraceptive pill. And hey, look at that. We got it right. I, I think I'm surprising myself a little bit here. That's a bad thing though, I think so. <laughs> Question number three, what is the average time it takes for a man to ejaculate during sex? I feel like two minutes is, is a little bit too short and 15 is like maybe just stretching it a little bit. Like who actually has the time for that? So I'm gonna go with five and a half minutes. And hey, look at that, I was correct again. I swear someone's gonna put a comment like, Oh, you Googled the answer, man. It's all fake. I don't understand why you guys can't just accept that I have a higher IQ than you. I would never fake a video like this. Question number four, does wearing a condom affect how long that you last? Uh, I don't I don't really know this one is a, is a really tough question. I'm not too sure I have a gut feeling that no it doesn't I'm it's just a gut feeling though I'm not actually sure but I'm just gonna take a wild guess and and say no Oh my god Wow I got it right holy smokes man I I just don't know how I do it <laughs> Just a real high IQ, right? Question number five. The average clitoris is the size of a... P makes a lot of sense. It's pretty small, it makes sense. Line, maybe a bit too big, but kind of stretch in there. Judging by the, the options they've given us, I, I, I think this one's a pretty safe guess that it's gonna be a P. I... What? No, that can't be true. Hold on. How, how, how big is the clitoris? How big is the clitoris, dog? Is actually close to four inches in length. What? Dog. That's like, okay, here, here's a banana, right? You're saying to me, right, a clitoris is the size of like a banana this big, that's that's the size of a clitoris? My whole life is a lie. Okay, I didn't expect to miss that question, to be honest with you. I thought this was gonna be a pretty easy one, because I mean, let's be honest, who, who actually knew that one? Like, well, well played, BuzzFeed. You, you've stumped me on this question. Question six, I think. Can you get pregnant from having sex on your period? Why? Like after the last question, I don't quite know what to believe anymore, but like, like how horny do you have to be to have sex with her while she's on her period? Unprotected. Like, dog, come, come on, man. Purely because I don't believe people actually do this, I'm gonna say no. Okay, well, look at that. You actually can. But look, you know what? If you're stupid enough to do this, maybe you had it coming. I'm just, just saying. That was kind of harsh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> do what you want, man. Live life. Love, love everyone. Pride Month. I think it's still going on, right? June? Yeah. Question seven, I think. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which of these items of clothing can help achieve orgasm? A t-shirt, knee pads, or socks? What is this, fucking WWE? <laughs> oh yeah, brother. See, this is one of those ones that I think is again, it's like, oh, it's too crazy, you gotta pick knee pads. And even though I think it's socks, I'm gonna go with knee pads because I'm a perfectionist and I really do care about my IQ. So is it knee pads? Oh no, I was, <laughs> I was wrong, it is actually socks. Having warm feet help 30% more couples to achieve orgasm than without. Well, there you go. <laughs> I fell for the fucking BuzzFeed trap, didn't I? Question number eight. Is it possible to orgasm from just nipple simulation? Stimulation? Simulation? <laughs> 
You don't actually have nipples. This is all just a simulation. Look, man, if there are people, right, who get off to dressing up in fox costumes and having sex with, like, furry costumes on, and there are dudes that really like girls wearing cowboy boots for some reason, this is, is like, normal, okay? So I'm gonna say yes, and look at that. The process of elimination right there. What the fucking fly in the house, man? I was gonna finish my sentence. When in doubt, you gotta... Fuck off, dog. Seriously. When in doubt, boot it out. Question number eight. What percentage of people claim to have faked an orgasm? Well, look, I, I think 50% of men and 30% of men is, is a way too high number. As a guy, how do you fake doing something like that? There is physical evidence. There is physical proof. You, you can't. You get caught in the act. And you know, I, I actually have a story. I was with a girl one time and we started making out and uh, she like started moaning a lot and then she told, she's like, you know, I'm about to come. And that's when I knew she was faking it because I didn't even have my fox costume off yet or anything. <laughs> I had you guys there for a second, didn't I? So because of this, I'm going to say 90% of women and 15% of men. Look at this Papa John's ad. Shit. <sighs> Superhero XL, 12 two-topping pizza. Damn. Speaking of pizza though, look at that tie-in. How many calories does sex burn per minute? You know what, fuck it dog, quick fire round, here we go right now. Three to five. Bam! What percentage of women have lost their virginity by 16? I'm not a woman, but fuck it, let's go 60%. I was wrong, I guess I'm in the minority on that one. <laughs> Dude, this fucking fly, man. All right, let's slow it down again here as we're on to question what I believe is 13, I think. Or 12. <laughs> I lost count. What percentage of men say they made their partner orgasm last time they had sex? Okay, this is undoubtedly the e undoubtedly. I wasn't bored in the darkness. Every single guy has done this, like 100%. You know why? Because guys have very sensitive prides and they have to lie to make their pride prideful. <laughs> it just depends on how big the lie is. Like guy one could be like, hey, Kevin, did you fuck Stacy last night? Oh yeah, man, it, it was awesome. She, she came like two times. Guy two might be like, oh, hey, Riley, did you, did you fuck Alex last night? Oh yeah, bro, I made her come like, uh, like 40 times. She called me the slithering tongue. But guy three is the best one. Guy three will be like, hey, Gustavo, did you fuck Maria last night? The fitness gram pacer tip. So it's gotta be 94%. I'm pretty confident on this one. <gasps> Question number 13, I think. How many calories are there in a typical male ejaculate? Well, speaking off of personal experience, I, I'm pretty sure it's less than one. Awesome. What? I was on a diet, dog. Question number 15. When was the first electrical vibrator produced? I mean, I'm pretty sure electricity was made around like the late 1800s, early 1900s. So I want to say 1902, but the thing is, I, I feel like I'm right on it. But if you think about it, they probably had horrible design skills and they probably just took a rolling pin and put a fucking cable at the end. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go with 1902. And hey, look at that, I was correct. It was called the LaVita Vibrator. And uh, I wanna see what that looks like. LaVita Vibrator. Oh no, oh, that's what it looked like? Oh no. <laughs> well, it was like a fucking hammer, man. But like I said, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't far off. It's just a fucking stick with what I think looks like a cheese grater on there. So top level design skills. I think most of these questions were, were pretty difficult. I thought I did a lot better though. 58% is not, <laughs> Not that great. It's an F. I think I did okay. How did you guys do? Put your comments down in the comment section below. Please don't cheat and be like, I got 100%, how did you not do it? I know you're lying. Nobody's got a higher IQ than me when it comes to this. <laughs> My actual IQ is probably pretty low, but if you take some, you, you win some. That's not, that's not the quote. With that being said, that's been the video for today. If you guys like today's video, make sure you guys leave a fat freaking like down below. If you guys like me, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'm going to say it again. We're very close to 500. We're like four subscribers away. So, uh, you know, if you know what this means, you know what this means. With that being said, it's been your boy, Blex. I will see you guys on the next video. Until next time, peace the freak out.